go my go with my guy Yudi. You know, I haven't really hit his stuff in a good long time, so we might be able to bend some of this with no problem. And this one is titled "Will Her Boyfriend Make a Move on Her Best Friend?" Oh Lord, it's a loyalty test. Oh, we're gonna have four streets. All right. And in a way, we go. All right, let's get it. Ken in position. We got Anthony in position. We got Rachel in position. We're just waiting for Angel to get here with her boyfriend. It's getting hot up in here. They need to hurry up. What the hell? Hello? Hey, girl. What's up? Where are you? Did you like park um, around the corner? Oh my gosh, I think it's you. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there you are. <laughs> okay, all right, see you soon. All righty, guys, all righty, guys, here we go. This is it. Angel has arrived. I repeat, Angel has arrived with her boyfriend. How are those cameras looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? We're looking good? This is Rogue One checking in. We're looking good back here. Over. Rogue 24 is rolling. Over. Okay. Yeah, everybody. Right. Remember, oh. let's get good shots, oh, but do not go. get caught. I repeat, don't get caught. Over. How are you? Don't get caught. No. Today, we put together and executed yet another loyalty test. This time, our friend Rachel would be asking Angel's boyfriend on a date. We'll just call him Jay. So normally, like, I'll do a couple laps, but I'm cool if you just want to do one, two. Like, you just tell me when you're ready to stop, and then we'll just go back. So Rachel's going to be asking Jay on a date at our apartment. So in order for that to happen, we just got to get them there. And luckily, we have the perfect plan. We learned that Jay was into health and fitness through Angel. Because of this, we instructed her to bring him to this trail. Angel managed to do so by convincing him to go on a morning run with her and her supposedly good friend, Rachel. It actually is a really nice day. I know, it's like, it's like, I feel like it, it's like a little bit chilly, but like for the run, it's gonna be yeah. perfect, you know? How creepy does this look, guys? Are we like creeps for like setting this up and doing this like yeah. this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, you guys are just taking pictures of birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just right. start right here and then we can jump onto the path. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, runners are off. I repeat, runners are off. <laughs> On the surface, this may seem like just another run, but what Jay doesn't know is that this is only the first phase of his loyalty test. It's time to move on to phase number two. Anthony, you are coming with me. Ken, you're just gonna kick back and just keep us updated. Gotcha. Oh, here we go. Rogue One is in the tailgating position and ready to move. <laughs> So like I said, this really? one was only the first phase of our loyalty test. We still had three more phases to go. The purpose of phase number one was for Rachel to simply meet Jay. They've done so and they are currently on their run. Right now we're on our way to Whole Foods so that we can get Anthony into position for phase number two. So after their run, the plan was for the trio to enjoy some smoothies together. I think I told Angel already. I'm not sure if she told you, but I want to bring you guys back for smoothies at my place afterwards. Oh, sure, I totally forgot. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the trio would be grabbing the ingredients to make these smoothies at a nearby Whole Foods, which is only a short drive away from the trail. Mm, okay. That's, That's smart. smart. <laughs> is it absolutely mandatory that I have to creep around? I mean, you don't have to creep around. You just have to basically pretend like you're shopping, look around, but just follow them. Not too close, though. You could be at a very good distance from them. Anthony would be keeping tabs on the trio while they were at That's Whole Foods good. shopping for the smoothie ingredients. So we are leaving Anthony behind at the Whole Foods, and we are making our way to the apartment. Remember, guys, the apartment is going to be where the trio will be making the smoothies and where Rachel will be making her move. Hey, what's up? I just want to call you to let you know. It looks like they're getting ready to go. Wait, are uh, you serious? Like they're done, done, done. They're done running? Yeah, they're, they're on the way back towards me right now. Dude, it's only been like 25 or 30 minutes. <laughs> they didn't want to run three miles. So yeah, so they're, they're done for sure. Okay, copy that. We'll just get out of there and just meet us back here. Time was of the essence, which meant that we had to hurry setting up our hidden cameras and establishing our live feed. Okay. You look stressed. I look stressed? Yeah. It's been a long day. I bet it has. <laughs> I, I wish y'all could see what goes on before sometimes, because this motherfucker could be going around all, all over the place. Hit. <laughs> yeah, part. Uh, big. He so my calculations are correct. Anthony should be stocking the trio at the Whole Foods right now, which means that I'm going to use this time to thank our friends at Hive.com for sponsoring this video. Hive.com is a luxury Hi. mystery box site that has the latest fashion and tech gear in their boxes. The cool thing about Hive is that when you open up a box, you always get something worth the value that you paid for or more. Okay, so wait, don't we need fruit? Oh, okay. We're getting frozen fruit. Oh, oh good. Frozen fruit. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna open up this Supreme box right here. Let's see what we get here. We gotta drag the top of the box and Oh, we got a Supreme Crash Tee. Now the cool thing about Hive.com is that if you get something that you don't want or love, you can always sell it back to them and get some of your money back, which I think I'm actually gonna sell this back because I don't think I wanna get something for myself. I think I wanna get something for Leslie. Let's open up this Miss Luxury box right here. Oh, we got a Gucci wallet. Leslie, you want, you want the Gucci wallet or you want me to return it? You want it? Okay. <laughs> You know what? I think I also want to get something for Angel, just in case, hopefully not, but just in case this test goes south, we can get her something nice, right? To hopefully make her feel better. Let's look up some boxes for Angel. Ooh, we got a Dior bandana? We'll save it for now. We may return it, get her something else, but let's open up another box. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a Nike jacket. That is a nice looking jacket right there. Dang, that looks comfortable and soft. Okay, definitely keeping that one. Let's open up one more box here. Let's do this one. Oh, we Good got some Air, Air Forces. What's her shoe size? Great, thank you. So yeah, guys, as you guys can tell, Hive.com is a really dope site for gifting. So click on the link in the description below and use my code to get your first box for free and 10% off your first deposit. But back to this test because the trio might be out of that Whole Foods any moment now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to make these smoothies. All right, uh, here it is. This here is my go. It's about to go down. Okay, this is them, guys. This is them. They are entering the apartment here. And with that, phase number two was officially complete. How was the stocking, sir? It was amazing. <laughs> oh, God. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could make a career out of it if I wanted to. <laughs> it was now time to move on to phase number three, which would begin with the trio making those smoothies. They got some spinach. You never had a smoothie with spinach? A smoothie with spinach? Bro, that does not sound good. It's bomb, and you didn't even taste it. Oh. See, my, See, my thing, thing with it, it I, I, I had it, it one time. time. You, you can't, can't even really taste it, taste it depending, depending on how you blended it in there. there. You know, have no, uh, drink with, you know, a smoothie with spinach in it, it the, you don't really taste like it. I mean, unless you put like a whole handful in there and everything like that, but you don't really taste it that much. So for him to be ill and everything, he needs to taste it first and before he start, you know, knocking it off or whatever like it. Oh no, the only smoothies I've ever had are strawberry, strawberry bananas. bananas. <laughs> basic. Basic. Just basic. Uh -uh. The purpose of this third phase was for Rachel and Jay to bond even more. So we had Rachel ask him for help in making the smoothies. At the same time, we also had to get Angel out of there. Therefore, when the time was right, she would be making up an excuse to exit the scene. Do you have a big info? Uh, no. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think this is it, guys. I think Angel's making up her excuse to leave. Did you check your pocket? I didn't even bring a bag. This is my phone. Left in the car. Do you think I left it? No, because I had it. I saw it. Yeah, I saw no, it. No, 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 no. I did. I used it. You used it at home. Okay, let me yeah, give it a call real quick. I mean, I texted my mom. So did you find my iPhone? I should go back and look. Oh, she's playing it off so good. <laughs> Angel successfully yeah. makes her exit by pretending to go look for her phone back at the Whole Foods. Oh, oh. I feel so bad. I told her she should do find my iPhone. In reality, Angel simply makes her way over to our command center and prepares to watch and listen in to the last and final phase of this test. I think uh -oh. we're making a smoothie. All right. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, like how confident are you that he's going to pass? I mean, we're here. Like I, I brought you all here. So, right. I mean, I'm five, a six being so hopeful. 50, 50, I mean, 50 still? I, mean, I don't know. I'm honestly, trusting yeah. you more than I'm trusting him right oh, now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> she said, if he fails, <laughs> it's <laughs> my fault. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. It is not his fault. You called him. You want to find out if he's going to be low or not. You called him. He's going to fail. Not because of the guy. You called him. And he's going to say, I thought I was too. So in case you guys are wondering, Angel wanted to place her boyfriend to the test because she's actually been through something like this before. Yes, I had an ex uh, cheat on me with one of my best friends. That is wow. crazy. How long ago was this? 
gosh, like two years ago? Two years ago. So still, I would say it's still fairly fresh, oh, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Definitely. like, how did that happen? Like how? I think it started off in the same scenario. Like you, you start to hang out and you think that like, oh, we're, we're all good. Like we can all hang out and be acquainted together. But I mean, you never know what's happening behind the scenes, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, of course it didn't work out well for me. I tried not to cry in that scenario, yeah. but then you I mean the second you walk out the door, I mean, and they're still together, in case you're wondering. They're still together? Yeah. Shit. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah, so glad right. it worked out for them. It's I mean, hopefully, hopefully this guy doesn't do the same, you know, hopefully he resists and he's able to pass the test. And yeah. if he doesn't, if he ends up failing, at least you know and you could maybe move on and try to find the next person, you know? <laughs> and then I'll and then I'll see you guys again. <laughs> we'll do this all over again. Man, you are really trying to see him again. Ooh, this is good. I like that. I, I feel like I can taste that like oat. I told you it's fine. Protein. It's creamy. It's creamy. <laughs> Rachel spent a couple more minutes just making some small talk and enjoying her smoothie with Jay. Eventually, though, she finally got around to making her move. Okay, I think yeah, this yeah. is it. I think she's starting to ease her way in there. We've been yeah, wanting yeah. to go on a run for a while now, for sure, but we just hadn't like gotten the chance to or anything yeah. like that. So she's been busy with one thing, I've been busy with another thing. So I'm like, I hit a, I hit a run every morning. So every yeah, morning? Yes, yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm a morning person, so if you ever need a running buddy, just let me know. Okay. Yeah. Here, actually, let me get your number so that way we, whenever we need to plan it, we can just plan on doing another run or something. You can hear okay? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're good. But you know, I do feel like I feel kind of bad that you had to basically do the entire smoothie process and I, it was an utter fail on my part. I mean, that's fine. I and I wanted to like maybe really go out really to really dinner with smoothie. you. Go out to dinner with me? Yeah, like. You want a treat? You want to treat me? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can just go out to dinner, like a little dinner date or something. A date? I don't know. Um, when are you free next? Like Friday, next week? Probably not the weekend. We have to do a probably not the weekend. weekend I'm hoping he's just trying to be nice here, you know? Can I treat you mm -hmm. some other no, time? Not looking separately? good. Absolutely. So would you... We hang out? We could be friends. We could be just friends? I was thinking like maybe a little bit, a little bit more than friends. Uh oh. To to be a little bit more candid. Okay. You're really attractive. Let's just be real. Thank you. So, I was just wondering if it is really that serious with Angel, or if you'd be open to going on like a dinner date or something I like that. I think it's pretty serious. You've only been going out for like three months, so like. But is it really that serious? Months, three months doesn't, yeah. I mean, if I met her three months ago or I met her six months ago, I'd still feel the same way to her. Mm -hmm. Time doesn't mean anything. Talk like good. Talk good. Even if you've been with somebody for three months, you could still be serious. You know? Right. You've been treating things pretty serious. But sometimes you can be with somebody for three years and it's still in the casual phase, exactly. too. So, okay. again. Some people don't want to settle down. Yeah. I mean, what's, what's your... Where are you kind of feeling with that? I mean, I've been looking for something serious. Yeah. I've been going about this. Mm -hmm. you know, I feel like okay. that's how anyone should be with any decision. You know, if you're, right. if you're in a job, you know, any job, you should be fully committed to it. Yeah. In a relationship. So, like, you're, like, really settled in with been, Angel. Yeah, I've been pretty settled in, yeah. We've had, yeah. Well, we've had a lot of good times. I mean, you could have good times with her. You could have good times with me. What would be better? Oh, Lord. <laughs> She's good. I told you. <laughs> it sounds like... You have some sort of something going on in your head, some scenario. I'm sorry, What's I. What's your ideal scenario with this? I didn't my know. ideal scenario would be you say yes to going on a dinner date with me because you find <laughs> me as attractive as I find you. We can go get dinner. What's wrong with that? So, so let me just get this clear. If we were to go out to dinner, it wouldn't be a date in your eyes. No, no. Even can't. though it would be in my eyes. We can't. Like when you would tell if, Angel. If, if you, if you think about it that way, then we might not be able to do that either. Okay. I'm telling you right now. Don't do it. Oh, we could just hang out. Don't and do it. Date, but you know what I mean. Same intention. Don't do it. If you're gonna put it like that, I wouldn't feel right about it. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good, right? That's how do you, good. How do you That's see a good that? thing. He's, he's pretty much like rejected her. She just is still doing her part and like prying at him. I mean, you know what? I respect that. You and Angel. If you're super serious about her, like, I can respect that. Like, it makes you more attractive in my opinion. But um, if, if, that's, if that's what you want to do, that's what you're going to do. 
I'm sorry that like if it made anything awkward or anything that's like right. that. Yeah, no, yeah. But if you still, if you ever want a She's running side of anything like that, let me know. I'm a morning person, but just I hope clean slate. I I'm sorry. I don't know what, where the heck she went off to. Anyway. I know. Should I try calling her again? I, I felt like in the beginning he was kind of like taking us in a little bit right. of like for a ride, right? right? And I didn't know where this was gonna, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, oh, this is just like, this is a lot. She's been gone for a while. I'll give it a couple minutes, I guess. Hopefully. I mean, if not, like we can always like go to Whole Foods too. And I honestly, I do feel like a huge sense of relief right now. I mean, okay. I mean, ultimately he did what I wanted him to do. And he like, he yeah. pretty much pushed her to the side. I could see how there may be like a piece of him that was like, oh, well, I mean, we just are yeah. getting started here. But ultimately, I don't know, I consider that a pass. Yeah, and okay. Like, <laughs> so Rachel yeah. made her move and Jade turned her down, which to Angel meant that he successfully passed this test. Do you want to tell him about any of this? Do you want to go back upstairs and like tell him that you put him to the test? God, no, I don't think, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to tell him about any you of don't this. Have like, you better not, not tell him. Because then he'll be like, like, why the hell am I in this position, position in the first place? place? Like, like, I wouldn't even tell him. Even if I was, I was to do the whole thing with, with you know, Frank first, first, you know, the guy, guy doing it to a female. female. You, you know, know, I wouldn't even, even I wouldn't even, even say, say that to him. Because when you say something to him, be like, oh, you don't trust me? And all, all this other stuff. stuff. And I'm, I'm like, like, no, it, it, that's not the case. I just want to be certain. And I'm pretty sure she's going to say the same thing in a little bit. Not if you don't want to, but you can if you want to, too. To. I think if it would have gone a totally different direction, we could have exposed everything. <laughs> but for now, I think we should keep this on the down <laughs> Cool, cool. How do you feel about us posting this video onto YouTube? Yeah, you know what? I want I want girls to have faith. I want them to have, see that there are loyal men out there. Right? <laughs> so for all we knew, this test was officially over. We sent Angel back upstairs to pretend like none of this ever happened. Everything just seems so natural, so fluid. It does. Rachel's good. She's, She's good. good. Rachel and Angel played everything off and drank their smoothies for another 20 minutes or so before casually deciding to call it a day. For all we knew, this was just another happy ending. However, as I'm sure you all noticed, this video is far from over. Do you have your phone? I have my phone. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Bye. So what happened? So a couple days after the test, I received a text message from Rachel saying that Jay had sent her this message. Apparently, he had changed his mind about everything. Hey, so hey, hey, hey. So he just sent you that? Like, that was, like, literally he just sent you that message out of nowhere? Or, or were you guys, like, talking beforehand or anything? No, no, no. He just sent it to me out of the blue. Like, we haven't been talking since the last time that I saw them. That is crazy. I wow. Know. I haven't responded yet because I'm not really sure if I should like say yes and go through with it or if we should just like cut it off here. Like, what do you think? I would say let's hold off and let me get in touch with Angel and ask her what she wants to do. Okay. And then we can kind of go from there. Maybe text him and kind of like string him along a little bit, but don't fully commit to anything. Yeah, I can give like a loose response to him just so it doesn't seem like I'm ignoring it. Like maybe the day of he was just like, oh, well, like, like she's coming back. So I don't want there to be awkward tension or something. But like, hmm. I have not spoken to him since. <sighs> Man. Wow. That is crazy. Okay, well, let me uh, let me talk to let me talk to Angel and let me see what she wants to do. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, this is so ridiculous. I was waiting for him to tell me that that incident even happened, like with him and Rachel, and you know he never did. I kind of feel like that should have been my red flag. Like this just goes to show, like he had plans, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, the purpose of my call is to ask you, like, if, do you want to start the test back up again, or do you want to, like... I mean, is that an option? We could do that. <laughs> yeah, oh, if you want to, we can. If you want to, we can. It's up to you. I hate to say it, but it appears that Jay had us all fooled. You know, in retrospect, his responses to Rachel's offer did seem a little bit too perfect and analytical. It's almost yeah. as if he suspected that something was up or he was afraid that Angel would walk back in at any moment. Or who knows, maybe he was just playing hard to get. Probably. Hello. How are you? Good. I, I just, I wanted to give you a call. I know, I know we already said everything over text, but I just wanted to really make sure that like you're cool with like coming over 
we can still, you know, plan something. Because, I mean, you know my in- intentions with everything. and. Um, Am I comfortable with it? Of course. Okay, I just, I just wanted to make sure. You seemed, like, very adamant last time, but you were like, uh, no, but, like, well, if, if, if you're cool with you it. Me, you caught me off guard. Yeah. Okay. Angel elected to keep this yeah. test going, so that's exactly what we did. Rachel kept in touch with Jay and scheduled out a movie date with him about a week later. I mean, on the bright side, the items that we got from Hype came in, so at least we could give Angel what we got for her. I mean, of course, not that this justifies or corrects what Jay's doing to her, but still, I'm just glad that we can, like, brighten up a week of it. A couple more days went by, and Rachel continued to keep in touch with Jay. Date night eventually arrived, though, and we wanted to give Jay one last chance to at least come clean to Angel about what he was about to do. Hello. Hey, babe. What's going on? What are you doing? Just hanging out at the house. Mm. What about you? Nothing. I was just wondering if you wanted to do something later on um later on what time um i don't know just like in a couple hours i kind of figured that out to be honest um i was talking to luca he wants to, he, i guess he, he might be doing a show and i was gonna go support him you, you done messed, messed up, up bro and now you are caught up in a situation that you don't want to be in to my son, son, he, he was talking, talking to Luca. Luca. Bruh, you, you you set up. You are set up. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I just wanted you know, to see right. what you were up to. I mean, I'll let you know about later. Right now, that's 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 kind of my plan, you know, for the night. And uh, I can keep you posted. Yeah, just text me when you're done. That right, sounds good. Okay. Bye, baby. Right, bye. bye. Really? That's messed up. I just, it makes me feel like such an idiot. But I mean, I'm I'm glad I'm like figuring this out about him now rather than later. So at this point, we were very confident that Jay was going to come over and enjoy a movie date with Rachel. All that was pretty much left to do was just wait for him to arrive. I I really hate this, but there's there's like there's literally nothing he can do to like recover from this. We're done. Hello? Hey. Oh, I think this is it. Mm -hmm. This is him. Yeah, just pulled up. Just pulled up. Okay, cool. I will meet you downstairs and then I'll walk you back up. Sounds good. Cool. All right. See, See you soon. Up. Okay. Bye. Oh, man. This is it. He's here. He showed up. I don't even want to see his face. I want to see it, but then I don't want to see it. Because it's like he did good the first time. But then after that, he kind of like turned everybody off, you know, including me, you know, turned me away from the whole situation and everything like that. He did good and did not all of a sudden now. Uh, I'll keep you posted. And then so then said, he'll just be meeting up with, um, who's it, with Luca. And Luca ain't even really thought of Wow, this, this. Mm. Oh man, this is not good. <laughs> this is all I need. So. Yeah, so I brought these. Yeah, he, he's done. He's done. Uh, he's, he's done. Yeah. Him. So did you want to go in there and talk to him, confront him? Yeah, yeah, I do. If you want to walk in there right now, we can walk in there right now, but I'm going to be honest. I feel like if you walk in there right now, I feel like he's going to be like, I'm just here to watch a movie with her. Like, I'm not doing anything else. Maybe we should have let them choose out a movie to watch and then see if his behavior changes and stuff. But again, it's completely yeah. up to you. I know he's already here. I know he already agreed to come and whatnot, but, you know, I'm just saying, like, he might be denying it. All right, I'll, yeah. I'll kind of wait a second. After making the popcorn and yeah, serving the wine, yeah. Rachel brings Jay to the living room to pick out a movie to watch. To me, Jay's intentions are perfectly clear. He's here behind his girlfriend's back and ready to have a good night with Rachel. However, we didn't want to leave him any room for excuses, so we thought it best to keep this thing going a little bit more to see if anything else would happen. Does Angel know you're here, or...? <laughs> Why are we talking about Angel right now? I don't know. I just like I. You're the one who wanted to hang out. I'm. I'm just covering like my bases in case she like texts me or something like that. I just don't want to. I'm just trying to cover my bases. That's if all. If you're asking me about Angel, I feel like. I don't know. What? I feel like if he's getting that uncomfortable with the mention of your name, I feel like he knows. Like, yo, I should have yeah. been here. Little does he know that I'm watching everything.
Yep. yep. You so know, they, they, he, he get, get mad offensive, offensive like, like you hear in his voice. He's, he's, like, he's like, like mad offensive. offensive. Like, like, why are we talking about, about her fool? Bro. You know, you're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be there. So, so I, don't I don't even know why you're getting off amped up for. Not, not supposed to be there. Why are you so, why are you acting so awkward? Okay, if I, I swear I would, okay, I, bad, bad call on my part. Rachel bringing up Angel seemed to have spooked Jay, but he didn't get up and leave. So Rachel dropped the subject and proceeded at choosing out a movie for them to watch. Alright, thank you. The no, it's okay. There's like two more bags, so if you want, to, if you want me to make more, yeah, I can make box, more. Ready to go. After some time, Jay began dropping his guard and getting comfortable again, finally giving Angel a clear visual of his intentions. Oh, yo. I think that was the clarification I, I needed. His intentions are perfectly clear, you know? You don't yeah. do that to a friend or if you're just there to hang yeah. out. You get what I mean? Like, yeah. imagine this was not a test. What would happen after the movie? What would happen during the movie? Yeah. I'm ready to go in there and ask him what the fuck he's doing here. What do you think he's gonna say? He's gonna deny it and play dumb, I'm sure. If this was just friends hanging out, first of all, I would be here. Second of all, I would know about it. Third, he wouldn't have his arm around her like that. Third, the exactly. fucking arm. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the BS he's gonna give me when I get in there. And so after a crazy mm, long test lied. filled with a roller coaster of emotions, Angel decides to finally confront Jay. There is no telling how Jay is going to react, but I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This yep. shit's gonna be good. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be good. good. What the hell? Really? Are you kidding? This is where you had to be today? Oh, out shit. with the boys? Here we go. This is that really important show you had to go see? What's what's all this? How about how about you start off with explaining what the fuck it is you're doing here? How about that? Marisha might be able to tell you she's the one who had me over. Oh, immediately you're gonna start to blame her. Okay. No, I wasn't blaming her. Okay, so then how about you explain why you're here? We were just hanging out. And how's that going? It was going pretty good until this happened. Okay, so well. So apparently you don't trust me, which is obvious. Yeah, it's, 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 so this entire thing basically is all of us. Like, Angel wanted to find out if you would stay loyal to her or go on a date with Rachel. And so we set this entire thing up. Like, none of this was real. This was all part of the plan to see if you were mm -hmm. loyal to Angel or not. And I mean, and we rightfully needed to do so. all that. Rightfully we so, because here for, we are. Here we are. For what? In a couple months. What do you mean, for what? Here we are. Mm -hmm. I mean, she had her reasons to test you. You know, no, no, where, where, where else would this have gone had I not walked in two seconds ago? Nowhere. God knows what else was going to happen. You nothing, lie. Nothing, nothing, was gonna nothing happen. else was going to happen. I was entertaining the idea of it. You know, it's not, it's not a big deal if you just like, if you're hanging out with somebody, you go over to the house. I, I tried to tell her multiple times. I said, we're not, we're just friends. I did say that multiple times. I told you that. Oh, so this is all your fault. Right? This is all her fault. This is all my fault. You're you're the victim here. In the beginning, I want to be friends. This is this is you are the reason that we are literally here. You don't have any trust. Bruh, how do you just automatically just come off and just be like, oh hold up, hold up, we gotta follow. Got proper proper panda oh one. Welcome, 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 and welcome. I have no, no problem, problem with that. How are you doing, doing my guy? guy? How are you doing? We, we got, got another, another follow. Thank you for the follow. follow. Welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Hopefully, Hopefully everything, everything is going well. well. Let's see here. How are you doing? Doing pretty good tonight. There we are. Doing pretty good. Let me get this out of here. There we go. Oh, there you go. Yes, doing well. Nice to hear, nice to hear. 
Glad that you are with me tonight. Glad that you are with me. Let me move this up some. All right, this one away. I think that's good right there. Yes, but I'm glad you are doing well tonight. Always a pleasure. Glad for you to be a follower tonight. There we go. Now I'm good. Trying to reach affiliate too. So I always help a brother out. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. much. And hey, any, any way I can help, I can do the same thing. thing. I appreciate the help. Affiliation is the goal. It's always been the goal. And, you know, we're always trying to grow the brand, make sure everything's going well, and make sure we get to where we need to be at. I appreciate you so much. Any type of content that you have, I'll be right over there. I can look and see what you got, and we'll just trade back and forth. Trust me and believe. If you are streaming, I have something going on. Be open for a raid. I got you there. I got you. I got you. Appreciate it. Proper panda. I did say that right. Yeah, I did say that right. Yes, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Trust in a relationship. The relationships are over. You want to bring up trust now? Get the fuck out of here, Jordan. Ooh. Really? Please. Why do you think they're all here? For this exact reason, because there was a camera team. Absolutely. To your friend's house. Oh, okay. She's yeah. a nice girl. She offered to have me over. I'm so sorry. Are we all on the same page? Like, are we in the same room right now? You do not get to be the victim here. the perfect girl for me. But is that fair to her to say that she needs to trust you if clearly you're not to be trusted? I don't. I don't think like you're getting it. Like we're all. I mean, we're cuddling up. That's about it. Just be doing it. We're done. Yes, obviously this is done. Like, please. I was doing my own test. We need. What, what the fuck? What? We're, experience. we're just having we're just having a good night. Yeah, and if I didn't end Okay, this dude, he's straight up a clown. Cause he's basically coming off making it seem like Yeah, I'm doing my own thing. I'm gonna make my own tears. Like he's trying to flip it around and make it seem like he's basically trying to make it seem like he's basically how would I would say. Not only, Not only make, make it seem, seem like he's a victim, victim but, but then at the same, same time, time he's trying to make it seem like that he was testing the so-called friend out, like, like reversing everything around on her. He don't, don't even need to be doing it at all. I don't, I don't care, care who it is. is. You don't, don't need to be doing that. You're wrong. Because he, he was wrong when he did that first phone call and then he told my son, oh, he had me up with a friend. You're not with your guy friend. And I'm pretty sure it's a guy. Okay, I forgot his name. His name is... It's a guy. He thought he was me up with him. Clearly she wasn't. I mean, clearly he wasn't. End this test two seconds ago, then where would that experiment have taken you? And I, yeah, I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> I don't... I can't be with somebody who's insecure. Oh, I'm Bruh, sorry. Bruh, that's I'm, you. I'm sorry, are you it's breaking... That's all you. you. Absolutely. I'm good. <laughs> really? Because we've right, been done since the moment I walked through that door. Yeah. Get the fuck out. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Are you kidding me? You embarrassed. That's why. fucking asshole. Yeah. Asshole it is. So any regrets with doing this? Besides maybe putting myself on blast? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, the reason we've gathered you here today a week later is because we actually have a surprise for you from our friends. Oh, I know. That sucks. <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> and see, this is a lesson right here. They got all these beautiful females out here, and you always get some of the assholes, assets, and they always keep fucking around over 
the females and stuff like that. All because, and see, I give it to the so called best friend. Because the best friend, she was poking. She was poking at him, poking at him, and poking at him. But it was like to the point that she, you know, couldn't resist trying to let him go, whatever like that. So I give it to her for. Poking and prying at him so much because God knows she was working her magic with him, not in a good way, neither like not physically, but she was basically just working him over so much that after the fact, he kind of like just caved, gave into it or whatever. I mean, after she came in and then had that conversation. He should have just dropped it. He shouldn't even, like, went back and be like, yeah, I'm going to go dinner with her. No. He should have just left it. Because right when he went and tried to rekindle something, even if it was so small, still ended up messing up. God. And then she, well, she's not a bad chick. She seemed like she good. She seemed like she had it all together and everything. I mean, that dude. Like, what's, what's up? What y'all doing? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of cool stuff there. Yo! <laughs> wait, I'm actually, wait, I'm, wait, really? Wait, really? Uh, yeah, really. <laughs>